Hi Fire Signs, Leo, Aries and Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we are going to find out who are you destined to marry in this lifetime. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 4th of April, 2023. Time here in Milan, Italy is 5.28 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. If you were to finally get it to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same signs. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Who are they destined to marry in this lifetime? Definitely a marriage card here with justice. The Hierophant and Reverse at the bottom of the deck and also we've got the Four of Wands is also a marriage card. So that means it's, there is a confirmation that, you know, this is somebody you're going to be marrying in this lifetime. For some of you, if you've been married already, this could be your second marriage or it could be your third marriage. And for some of you, it could be that first marriage, okay? Um, just take what resonates with you. I feel like this is someone with a higher fatty or reverse who has this a different religion, different thinking, dif just different, <laughs> different skin color or different uh, facial features, different ethnicity, different background, different education, background, any sorts of background. Um, if it's not about all of these very obvious things, just two different people. <laughs> Two very different people, okay? Opposites attract here. And five of one, see? It's like, I feel like this is someone in the beginning where it's going to be difficult because maybe both of you either uh, don't live in the same country or have, again, different background. Something that needs to relearn because the Hierophant in my verse indicates, you know, both of you may not understand certain things or not used to each other's culture or... Or, this, again, this is something, this is a connection that could be challenging because both of you are very different from each other, okay? Um, and also, I see for some of you, there will be like an ending first. When you meet this person, some of you have already met this person, some of you haven't yet. If you haven't, it feels like this connection will have one ending, okay? And also a sense of rejection and also a sense of, there's just so many challenges that both of you might just give up on it um, period periodically. <laughs> uh, um, like there will be like small little endings and then getting back together, reconnected. And then, and then another little small ending and reconnected again. I hope that makes sense to you, okay? Because... But the justice here, you know, the page of swords in reverse and the four swords, this would mean indicates like maybe someone, page of swords, could be you or this person, just feeling like, oh, very doubtful about this connection again because of these differences, right? The higher form of it. It could be an age gap, a big age gap, or it could be, again, so many things here. I mean, just take what resonates with you. So this energy of like, I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> Four swords, I need to really think. I need, it takes time. This connection takes time, I would say. But it could actually turn into a marriage. Four wands and the justice here again. There will be a lot of challenges, but for number four indicates stability, but it will come to a point where this connection will be stable. Um, could be a twin flame connection, but... Um, both of you will be on the same page. We'll have some sort of agreement with the justice here to do things the right way or to have the same uh, goals in life, in the future, about the future. Because look, Ace of Pentacles in one verse, Nine of Pentacles in one verse, and then we've got the Nine of Swords in one verse. So I see at least there'll be one brief ending between you and this person. 
Yeah. Because this energy of like, I don't know if this connection could e could even turn into anything because there are so many difficulties, so many or so many challenges. Some of it could be, um, it could be because of a legal situation or another marriage, or it could be anything. But, but it's serious. I have to say, and it is very challenging. So there will be a lot of um issues in the beginning and a little bit in the beginning and in the middle of it but all but ultimately at the end you know both of you will come together at the end feels like these differences difficulties it will be solved because ten of swords indicates an ending of these drama or difficulties an ending of something that just didn't take off, all of that is going to end, or an ending, page of swords and movers, an ending of suspicion, of uncertainties, of overthinking for swords here. And ultimately, it leads to both of you being on the same page, right? Both of you moving in together, getting married, but I, again, I have to say this is very difficult, a very difficult, challenging connection, right? It feels like all odds are against the both of you here. And now, Pentacles of Reverse, again, this person could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or Oi, Taurus. It could also be because either it's you or this person, but something about someone wanting to maintain being single or feels better being single or unwilling to let go of their singlehood because there's a very independent energy here, right? I'm willing to like let go of that single status. I hope that makes sense, but let's see more. I've got the Knight of Pentacles. See, I told you, very, very slow, 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 slow. Slow movement, slow energy. Um, this is going to take time, Leo, Aries, Sag. I don't see this connection as, I don't see both of you getting married, like, right away. <laughs> you know, um, not one of those connections where you, the moment you see this person, like, ah, oh, I know this is the one, you'll be very doubtful, or this person will be very doubtful of this connection, um, from, from the beginning. And, um, that would be once or twice of a separation and a lot of hurt here with the star in my verse or just feeling like this is not gonna happen this is like a fairy tale <laughs> all right but it being in reverse is like this is never gonna happen i have no faith in this connection whatsoever that kind of energy that's because either because there are a lot of drama surrounding this connection or third party situation or somebody has somebody else already or it could just be because both of you are such different people, come from different background. It could be because parents or family don't agree, disagree with this connection. Um, it could be because of legal situation. It could be because of um, distance or, you know, age gap or someone unwilling to let go of their independence. It's funny. This is such a funny reading. <laughs> but we've got the Nine of Pentacles, so finally somebody is going to commit. If you're dealing with someone who is not willing to commit or in the future coming in, if this person is unwilling to commit, the commitment will happen, but it's going to take time. It could be you as well. It could be the one unwilling to commit, but eventually you will commit. Okay, so see, Two of Swords here, and then we've got Six of Swords. Now we've got the Tower. What did I say? Very unexpected connection. I feel like either you're going to meet this person unexpectedly or both of you did did not expect from the beginning that both of you would actually end up being together, getting married. It just looks so like far-fetched, right? With the star in my verse as though this is never going to happen. Like we'll never get married. He will never marry me or she will never marry me. It's something about how you know it's a connection that seems so impossible that with the tower here 
It's shocking. It's unexpected. I think. Look. Oh my gosh. Eight of Wands. Look at this. Ten of Cups. You're going to marry this person. But again, it feels like Six of Swords. Some of you maybe because of distance here. Yeah? Uh, and the Two Swords here. It's like indecisive. There'll be a lot of indecision in regards of this connection. Uh, or it could be because there are other options presenting presented itself, presenting itself in this connection where it could be part of the one of the challenges, you know. But it could be any of these things. But look, eight of wands, um, good news. So I see this tower as a really good tower because it's surrounded by pretty good cards here, and page of wands is as you. So. You may have a change of heart in regards to this person. You may have a change of mindset in regards to this person. Or this person may have a change of heart in regards to you. And Ten of Cups, it could be also both of you, right? Both of you, four wands here. Happily ever after. This is a very emotionally fulfilling connection. Even though everything seems to be chaotic, um, there will be few endings or disagreements or third party situation all kinds of it could be a complicated situation or a very complicated connection that suddenly could turn into a connection that both of you will end up getting married and when both of you get married all of this is going to be in the past because this is a happy happily ever after connection so after both of you i see after both of you get married all of those issues in the all those all of those issues or third parties whatever it could be okay all these challenges is gonna be behind both of you that's that's it right ten of swords got two tens here so that means all of the difficulties are gonna be behind both of you and from there on there is just it's just forward movement um there would just be a lot of love, a lot of care, a lot of passion, desire, and something to look forward to as well. Page of Wands here. Both of you are going to be looking forward to a new life together, looking forward to moving together or moving in together or traveling together. Some of you will also be traveling with your fam. Like if, when both of you get married, you're going to travel together, but not just the two of you, but with family with or family or with children um i think there'll be a lot of traveling because maybe this person that you're marrying lives in a different country or their job requires them to travel or it could be you okay very very unexpected pair very unexpected very unexpected partnership that both of you again will not see this coming as in it wouldn't be something both of you would expect out of this connection which actually is going to turn into marriage all right leo Sag. this is your reading and i hope you resonated in some way shape or form if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below kindly subscribe to my channel, Chelsea Love Tarot and Chelsea Tarot 2.0, which is, which is my latest channel. And I only post individual sign readings on that channel. Um, take care, Leo Aries Satch. And don't forget to click on the bell notification button so you'll be notified every time I post your videos. All right, take care. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.